Hi guys, I'm Alan. Welcome back to my channel and also thanks for the new subscribers. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up the color settings on your Epson Workforce 7710 and also your Epson Workforce 7720. Because I know some of you guys probably have the printer or just buy the printer and never go through it. Okay, make sure you go to the printer. Talk to your printer. Whatever you ask the printer to do, he will do it. Just like, you know, when you set up your printer to print on Wi-Fi connection. Okay. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys where you need to go if you wanna get the best best picture quality coming out of your printer, where you need to go to set up the color. But I'm not gonna actually print, but I'm gonna show you guys where you need to go because I don't know exactly what you guys printing. If you're printing like posters, pictures, postcard, whatever you print, this is where you're gonna need to go um, to print the best quality pictures, the best quality uh, um, color okay even though you're printing from your um silly software or whatever software you print you're gonna need to set up the color because it's coming from epson and most of the time when you buy an epson printer it's like it's set up on the basic you need to do some kind of you know you gotta work with the printer you need to do some kind of trick to make it work the way you want it to work okay so today that's exactly what i'm going to show you guys where you need to go to get that color settings okay so first of all this is my uh, my silhouette cutting software that i already set up here so you could whatever pictures you choose to get just choose a picture and then just apply if you don't have a silhouette software you could just go ahead and open a pictures open some kind of posters on your desktop whatever it is so it's gonna be the same process it's gonna be the same setup okay so it, it's pretty much easy okay so all you had to do after you select the your pictures or the posters you select all you had to do you just go to file you go to print okay so you gotta set up make sure you set up your printer okay you gotta find your printer okay sometime if you don't if you set up the printer and you don't see that paper like the size or you don't see that high coming on the screen, you don't see that one here, you will not be able to find the color um, settings on there. Okay, because as you can see here, if I choose a different one, see that right here, if if we show you, if we show on your screen like that, you will not be able to change the color settings or do the color setup on here. So make sure you get that appear on your screen here. This is how your screen need to look if you wanna do the, the color correction and color settings, okay? So when you get here, after you set up your printer, present stay the same, everything here stay the same until you get laid out. See, when you get here, color matching, paper handling, cover pages, print settings, color option, two side printing, and this is where you need to talk to your printer, okay? So what you need to do, you gotta go to color option here. Okay, so when you get here, as you can see, your printer always set up in menu settings here. Okay, and if you click here on the menu settings, if you go down here on the advanced setting, if you click here, as you can see here, this is how you could manually um, um, change your, your ink here. Everything here, if you put it up here, you can see how everything is moving, it's how you want it. I don't suggest you to play with those here because it's already set it up here. If you put the yellow a little higher, your picture, whatever is colors that's on the picture that's yellow is gonna come brighter than everything else here, okay? And this is the second one, fixed photos. If you click here, you wanna fix photos. That's why I'm, I don't know what you guys printing, so I will not be able to go ahead and print anything because you got to talk to your printer. You got to set up what exactly that you print. When you put it on fixed photo, scene correction, auto correct. So when you come here, you see that's people, landscape, night scene, selfie, great. So it's up to you guys, which, what are you printing? Especially if you're doing shirts and stuff. So you got to make sure you set up whatever you printing here. Okay, fixed red eye. You could click on here, digital camera correction. You could clear, smooth scan. Like I said, it's, it's up to you what camera you're using, what photo you're using, whatever you use, you gotta talk to your printer and let the printer know what exactly that you're printing here. Okay, so you could 
take them off. And if you don't want to do nothing, like you want to keep everything just the way it is, you could turn it off, like no color adjustment here. So you will not show anything. But I would not recommend you guys to just turn it off because you just you will get the basic color what Epson set up the printer from. That's what you're gonna get if you leave it on off no color adjustment. Just like the manual one. See how everything is zero. Okay, so you just get the basic color. But if you come here on fix photos, and then if you go down on advanced settings. That's where you find everything here. And I'm gonna show you guys some something else here when you finish here. So what you could do here, you could go back to menu, mode, Epson, Viva and stuff here, and Adobe RGB. You could always choose that. You know, this is the best one that's uh, uh, my computer actually use most of the softwares come with Adobe RGB here. You could choose that too. It's up to you. But the main the main one I recommend it will be the fixed photos here. Okay. And you just go ahead and select whatever you go ahead to print. Landscape, nice scene, sepia, gray, anything. Auto correct, you know, you, you could you could leave it on auto correct, but like I said, if it's something that you're printing that have nothing to do with people, landscape, not seeing safe, you gray, you could leave it on auto correct, but it's still gonna be on fixed photos here. You know, you could get rid of red eye and everything. And then right after you're done here, okay, you just go ahead and hit print. And whatever you choose here, that's what that's exactly what the printer gonna go ahead and and print from here. So this is pretty much every time you get red, anything you're trying to do. You got to make sure you come here, okay? Lay it out, color matching, paper handling, printer settings. If you want to go printer settings, that's where you want to, what trays that you want to print um, your paper. Because you know those Epson printers, 7710, 7720, most of the 77, they come with two trays, three trays. This is where you can, if you want to print your your paper from the real trays or the main tray, this is where you come here. And the, print settings here. I'm sure I have a video that show you guys how to print different size of paper from your Epson for 7710, 7720 here, okay? So two side printing setting is up to you. Just make sure you just check out your printer, okay? Don't just leave the printer just the way you receive it. Don't, you know, you gotta try things, you know what I'm saying? So this is how you find out some of your stuff that come with your printer, like especially the color option here. Okay, always, every time you're getting ready to print, whatever you print is come here and fix it, let the printer know, and he will do exactly what you need to do. So I think that's pretty much it. Okay, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, you know, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. But Next time, whenever I'm getting ready to print anything that have something to do with people, landscape, night scene, safety, great, I would do a test so you guys could see. But if you have the printer and you're watching that video, go ahead and, and, and print it yourself and let me know. All right. So thank you. Thanks for watching.